Hi, this is Tammy, and I do math for coffee in my free time, but I also teach school too. So here we're going to talk about how to do subtraction of integers. I'm starting out with something simple just to show you how to use the number line, and that is 5 minus 2. I know you know the answer to that, but I'm going to show you how I do it on the number line. We start with a 5, put a dot on the 5. We are subtracting a 2, which means we are going to move backwards two units. And where you land is your answer 3, probably not a surprise, right? But it's a positive 3. And in, it's positive because the 5 is bigger than the 2. So that's why it came out to be a positive answer. When we do this with the counters, which I like as well, you would draw 5 positives first. And then you need to subtract two of those positives. You are subtracting a positive number here. If you were going to be subtracting negative two, there would be a parentheses with a minus in front of the two, but this is a subtracting a positive two. Well, this is as easy as taking two of your counters just off the board. So you're left with a positive three. Okay, now to make it more interesting, we're going to flip this. We're going to do this when the number in front is smaller than the number you're subtracting. So we're starting with the 2. That's our first point, and we are going to subtract 5, which means we are going to go backwards 5 steps. And we land at a negative 3. That happened because the 2 is smaller than the 5. Now, if you like doing it with the counters, I'm starting with a positive 2, and I'm supposed to subtract a positive 5. I don't have 5 green ones on the board. So this is the situation where I'm going to add some zeros. Remember, a positive plus a negative is a zero pair. In another kind of problem, they might cancel out, but for right now, I'm using them to get some more greens on the board. So I am going to add enough so that I see five green counters on the board because I need to subtract them right now. And what you're left with is your answer. That is a three red counters, so that is a negative three. That's what we got when we did it with the number line too. All right, try these. I'll be right back to check your answers. Okay, 3 minus 5, you should have got a negative 2 for that, whether you drew the number line, used the counters, or just did it in your head. 5 minus 15 is a negative 10, and 17 minus 4 is a positive 13. So what's going on here? Well, if the first number is smaller than the second one, you're going to get a negative answer. If the first number is larger than the second one, when you're subtracting, you're going to get a positive answer. A positive integer minus a positive integer is the sign of the bigger number. I mean, that's what you're going to get for an answer. Pause the video and copy this down if you need to. 15 minus 6 equals 9. That's because it does. But it, the 9 is positive because the 15 is positive. 6 minus 15 is negative 9, and the answer is negative because the 15 was negative, or another way of thinking about it is the 6 is smaller than the 15. You're taking away more than you started with. That's why you end up with the negative result. All right, this time we're going to model what happens when you start with a negative number and you subtract a positive number. We're going to start with negative 5, and we are going to subtract 2. So we have to go backwards 2 units. So we land at negative 7 and that is our answer. Now I'm going to show you this with counters. I'm starting with a negative 5, so I need 5 red ones on the board. And I am supposed to subtract a positive 2. I don't have any here, so I need to add a couple zeros. And now I have two green positives that I can subtract. And I'm left with 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. I am left with 
seven negatives. And so that's my answer. Anytime you're subtracting, you may have teachers tell you that you can rewrite a subtraction sign as a plus negative. This is why that works. Negative five are these five over here that we started with. And plus a negative two would be just adding two more negatives. I covered this in the addition video when we were adding two negative numbers, but this is why your teachers are saying you can change those signs. Personally, as a teacher, I don't teach changing signs because I'm a high school teacher and I noticed high school kids would always forget when to do it. So I just like to show how this works other ways. But you can rewrite signs. Pause the video and try these three and I'll be right back. All right, negative three minus 13 is negative 16. Whether you use number lines or counters or just knew this, you're starting at a negative three and you're backing up 13 more, so you'll be at negative 16. If you start at negative 35 and take four more away, you'll be at negative 39. And this last one has a typo. That parenthesis is not supposed to be there. Negative 12 minus 24, that's gonna be a negative 36. So really, it's kind of weird what's going on here. It's almost as though we're adding those numbers and making the answers negative. A negative integer minus a positive integer is a negative integer. You're gonna get a negative answer. If you start with a negative number and you take more things away, you're going to get a bigger negative number. Pause if you need to write. All right, now we're going to do the situation where you have a positive number minus a negative number. I'm going to be honest with you. On a number line, I haven't figured out a way to do this where it doesn't feel like you're playing a game of Twister. So I'm going to skip the number line of for this and go right to counters because to me, counters make a lot more sense. We're starting with a positive five. That means we need five green ones on the board. And this is saying I am supposed to subtract four negatives. Well, I don't have any red things on the board to take off, so I need to get some red ones on the board. We'll do that by adding these zero pairs. One, two, three, four. Once I do that, I can actually remove four negatives. And remember, I was adding zeros here. Five plus zero plus zero plus zero plus zero is still five. Putting them on the board in pairs like this doesn't change anything, but it allows me now to subtract those negatives. And I took out four of them and whatever I'm left with, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, I am left with a positive nine. Whoa, what just happened? Okay, let's do it again. Three minus a negative five. You're starting with three positives and I am supposed to subtract five negatives and I don't have any on the board. So let me get them on the board. One, two, three, four. I need one more, four, five. I can now have five red ones that I can remove. If you're doing this on paper, you'll just cross them off or erase them, but crossing them off is probably better. And what you're left with is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Are you figuring out what's going on? If you haven't yet, let's do one more. See, I wanna see if you can get it before I tell you. I'm starting with one positive. I need four negatives. That's how you play that game. And now I take off my four negatives and we're left with a positive five. What really happened there? Yeah, they added some, when you are subtracting a negative, you're really adding. So you end up just changing this to one plus four. All right, if you get it, Pause the video, see what you get for these three. I'll be right back. Two minus a negative eight, you should have gotten a plus 10 because this double negative action just changes into an addition problem. 35 minus a negative four is a positive 39. 12 minus a negative two is 14. What is really happening here? It changes to addition. If you have a positive number minus a negative number, 
it's going to be rewritten as an addition problem and then you solve it. 15 minus a negative 6, this minus parentheses minus, this double negative thing going on in between two numbers is going to change it to a plus. So you just add them together and we get a 21. And that's nothing about the first number being positive. It happens whenever you're subtracting a negative number. Watch this. We're going to do a negative minus a negative. That's going to end up being a minus 3. 5 minus a negative 2 equals negative 3. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And this one's easy because I'm starting out with a bunch of negatives. So I have two negatives I can easily take off. Boom, negative 3. Easy peasy. Let's do it again. We're starting with a negative 4. Okay, I'm supposed to take off 10 negatives. I don't have 10 negatives. So for this one, I do have to add some zeros onto my board. And is that enough? 1, 2, 3, 4. That gives me not enough. There we go. Now I do. And so now I can subtract off 10. So that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. I took off 10 negatives and I am left with 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 positives. So let me show you. We're going to do those problems. Just I want you to see these signs. This this pattern of symbols, negative parentheses, negative, 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 turns into a plus. And now you're not subtracting anymore. You're just adding. So we know that answer is negative 3. And from the previous video about adding, if the signs are different, you actually take the difference of the two. 5 minus 2 is 3, but the answer is negative because the bigger number has a minus sign on it. Again, I know it's not really bigger. I'm talking about your eyeball is going to think 5 is bigger than 2. All right, again, here is, here is this combination of symbols that is going to turn into a plus. Negative 4 plus 10 is the same thing as 10 minus 4, which is 6. The answer is positive because the 10 is positive. Let's get that into your notes. A negative integer minus a negative integer is rewritten as an addition problem, and then you solve it. Negative 15 minus a negative 6 becomes negative 15 plus 6, and that's going to be 9. It's negative because the 15 is negative. Thanks for watching. When the next video is ready, which is going to be about multiplying integers, I'll put a link to it here, and I will see you guys next time. Bye.